place right in here. So it's right in here is the oxygen sensor. And on the screen, it tells me how full the oxygen is. And right now, it's at 95%. So that's good. Once we get going, we'll calibrate it. But these tubes are sensing the oxygen. So this is the flow sensor. And it's going to be sensed by the oxygen. So the oxygen is pumping in and it's sensing how much he's consuming. That all gets put into here. Assuming his RQ is at 0.8, and then it's calculating the volume of CO2. Based, at, um, based on that information, we'll get a printout that's going to look like this. So this is mine. Carolyn has one too. I made her do it this morning. All of these data points, this is my oxygen consumption, essentially. Um, but you'll see this is KCALs over here. So you can see I was all over the board. If you guys, like, right here, I was laughing, and then I took it out because I couldn't take it anymore, and I had to, like, swallow. So all of this information, you see the sporadic data there. The first five minutes of data basically get thrown out, so you should be able to see a little line right here. That little line. So it's telling me, hey, we threw out that first five minutes of data, and then it's using all the data between the two lines to calculate my energy expenditure. These are all the individual data points. So it says volume of CO2 in mils per minute. That's the data that it's collecting. At the very bottom, it gives me a little chart. That is my resting metabolic rate in kcals per day compared to predicted. What's the predicted? It's the Harris-Benedict equation. So it averaged out my data and it told me that my average caloric expenditure in kcals per day was 1747, so just over 1700 calories. Where my Harris-Benedict, so that was 140% over my Harris-Benedict. So you calculate my Harris-Benedict based on my age, my size, and my weight, my height, my weight. My Harris-Benedict is like 1247, so it's pretty low. Um, so that's pretty high. It could be high for a variety of reasons. It could be that my RQ is not 0.8, so it's miscalculating my caloric expenditure. There is, um, I threw out, so like that point right there that went really high. I don't know, I was goofing off or something, and it went really high. So I threw that point out and I recalculated my average and got closer to 1680, which is probably pretty close for me. Um, I'm pretty active, so I have a lot more lean tissue probably than Harris Benedict would predict for me. Um, so, you know, it's pretty close though, it's pretty close.